Hello everyone and welcome back to our channel. In today's video, I'll be showing you how to sell Squarespace templates on Etsy. So if you're a talented Squarespace designer and want to monetize your skills by selling Squarespace templates, Etsy can be a great platform to reach a wide audience and potential buyers. So with its focus on handmade and digital products, Etsy provides a marketplace for creative entrepreneurs like yourself. So in this guide, we'll walk you through the steps on selling or start selling on Squarespace templates, of course, on Etsy in 2023. So let's get started. Before we start with this video, make sure to watch it from now till the end so you have full experience. So first, let's start by opening whatever browser we are going to use to follow this tutorial steps with you. Here in my case, I'm actually going to use the Brave browser. And of course, in your case, you can use any other browser that you could possibly have or you want to use. So once you open your browser, of course, you can simply go to your squarespace.com and hit the enter button. And of course, from here, you will have to go and log in into your account. If you have an account, if you don't have an account, go, go and click on get started to create an account for yourself. Once you're logged in into your account or you just created your account as an example. So let me just go and do that by my own here. And of course, for you, you'll have to go and do the same. You'll find nor normally yourself on your dashboard. So if you have your templates ready, that will be great. But if you don't have your templates ready on Squarespace, so you'll have to go and create your templates or go and upload your templates here, whatever you want. If you have your template ready, let's say, for example, this website is my template. I can simply go to this three dots of that website or any other one and click on it, then click on settings. This will take me to another page, as an example. So I'll have to go to this list panel, simply go to import and export content. And here, make sure to click on export content. And once you click on it, as you can see, export your blogs and pages to WordPress, as an example. So if you click on it, as you can see, it will be exporting to your WordPress site. Of course, those, if you are connecting your WordPress site into your uh, Squarespace. Once you have so, or once you've done it, you'll have to go to your WordPress right now. And of course, you'll find this right there. And normally, you'll find your Squarespace right here on this list panel. Click on it and make sure to download the template. Unless, of course, you have like an option like this one, you may get this download option. And of course, if you click on it, this will take you directly and will take, of course, download it to your PC. So make sure to give it whatever name you want. Choose the file location, then click on save. For me, uh, it's all clear. Of course, I'm just going to clear it. And now I'll have to go into our Etsy. So go and open a new tab, type etsy.com and hit the enter button. And that will take you to this homepage or home screen again. So if you have an account, you can always click on sign in to log in into your account. And if you don't have an account, you'll have to go and click on register and then make sure to go and create an account for yourself. For me again, I'm just going to log in into my account again. And it should not take a lot of time. So let me just go and log in into my account. Of course, I'm using Google, so I don't have to go through through all the boring steps of creating or logging into my account. Of course, you can do the same for your own if you want to. So once you're here, you can simply go to your store. For example, go to store manager. And let's just wait for the page until it loads. And of course, here you can go to listings. And here you can simply, of course, go and click on add a listen. So for me, I can't at the moment because my account is currently suspended. And of course, that's because of some payments. But simply, of course, you'll have to go and add a listen. For example, let me just go and check this listen. So this is example, when you click on add a listen, it's going to basically be something like that. So simply here, you'll have to go and add the photos of your template. Of course, you can even add a lot of pages if you want instead of this uh, angles. And of course, here, make sure to add the thumbnail to your template example. So we can choose the best page or the home page for it. You can even make a video like scrolling down through the whole pages of your template. And of course, here you will find the list in detail. So you'll have to go and give it a title. You'll have to go and uh, choose uh, about this listen. So as you can see who made it. So you'll have to go and answer those questions, example. So is it a finished product or a supplier tool that makes things? For example, template is going to be a supplier tool to make things. And of course, the year or where or when did you make it? So of course, you'll have to go and choose the year also. The category, so make sure to go and type here templates instead of the digital prints. And of course, you can even uh, add some additional settings that is not necessary, as an example, such as this primary color, uh, secondary color, width, height, 
uh, orientation, uh, framing, home style, occasion, uh, holiday room, and of course, uh, subjects. Those uh, options, as you can see, are just optional, not mandatory, not necessary to fill. So you can fill them or let them empty. And of course, if you scroll down, you'll find the start, which is that's mandatory. As you can see, renewal option is it's manual or automatic. The type is it digital or physical. Uh, the description you'll have to go and uh, put an appeal in. And of course, interesting uh, description that can or will make people come always and be interested about your templates of course normally the pages or the pictures and the video will be enough but of course they will a lot of customers will read the description so they can assure everything so make sure to go even you can use some uh, website like ChatGPT to create a description for yourself so make sure to go and do it that so make sure to go and create like a two or three lines description that contains uh, about your template uh, that will make uh, some customers attracted because a lot of customers like read the description and of course and if you have any products partners make sure to go and click here and add them and of course this section will be optional also tags optional but of course this tags uh, helps people like reach your uh, templates example so make sure to go and add them as you can see there's 13 left 13 options to do so and of course there's even this materials this is not uh, something that you'll have to fill for a template even uh, maybe for something else example and of course here we come to the important parts which is actually the price so here you'll have to go and of course here you'll find the currency that you have in your country and here you'll have to go and put the price of your template that you're going to put in your Etsy then you'll have to go and put the quantity of course if it's infinite you can simply like keep typing here some nines as an example and of course if it's uh, the uh, top number is this so you'll have to go and put this example or you can uh, it puts the zero as an example so the last one is one so Make sure to put the 1999 because templates everyone can buy it and of course this SKU is just uh, optional which is SKUs are for your use or for your use only of course buyers won't see them and of course this there is this personalization option collects personalization information from this listing example so if you want to get information about this listing customers an example and of course there's the digital files of course you'll have to go and uh, enter the uh, templates here the whole templates here so simply you'll have to go and upload the file then upload the file that you uh, exported uh, from here from your Squarespace once you finish everything make sure to hit the save or publish for you you'll find publish maybe instead of save and you will be good to go normally course then you'll even have to go and, as an example promote your uh, Squarespace uh, templates on Etsy or promote your Etsy shop on other platforms or social media as an example and it's going to be very supportive so selling uh, Squarespace templates of course on Etsy can be a rewarding way to showcase your design skills and generate income by following these steps of course uh, outlined in this guide you can create and sell your Squarespace templates on 18 2023 of course remember to continually refine your design stay up to the date market trends and engage with your customers to enhance your success on Etsy. so best of luck with your squarespace simplest business thank you for watching and i'll see you in the next video